Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, in this video I want to show you my coloring book collection. And uh, actually I didn't want to do a collection video um, because I have way too many books and um, yeah, I'm a little bit embarrassed of how many I own. But uh, now that I um, have them all, I, I all take took them out because um, I wanted to make a list, a register with all my uh, coloring books listed because over at Lovelia's channel and Kilara channel um, they are doing the um, hashtag color my heart and um, I also wanted to take part in this challenge because I think it's quite fun and therefore I needed to list all my books somewhere you know and um, because I did that now, I thought, okay, now I have them all out, uh, then I can um, film my collection video. So, let's get started. But I have to say that I will do it uh, in more smaller parts, um, because I don't want um, to film too long videos. And But let's get started. So, the first one is Mermaid Life by Nathaniel Wake and this is one of my older books so one of the books that I um, got when I was quite whoops, uh, new to coloring and um, I haven't colored anything in this book uh, that's another shame because um, I have so many books but I haven't colored in most of them I could say because I'm just too slow and I have to say, oh, this is not my favorite book, but this picture is really sweet. Um, yeah, so Mermaid Life by Nathaniel Wake. And if you want to see a flip through of any of those books, let me know, then I can do a quick flip through. And this one is his newer book, Fairy Life, also by Nathaniel Wake. I think I saw a V and abled me with this book. Um, yeah, this book has some fairies included. This one is lovely. Really nice picture. I'm st oh, this one I think V has done. And I haven't colored anything in this book either yet. This one is also very beautiful. I'm so curious um, which picture the um, number generator will pick for me. So the next book is Pixie Fairy uh, by Sarah Bourrier. And I think I have colored something in here. This one. This was a quick and easy one. Uh, and I really love the pictures in here. So we have, of course, fairies because. Yeah, it is called Pixie Fairy. And I really like the art style of um, Sarah Bruyere. The only pity is that the paper is quite thin. Uh, I would pre prefer her books in PDF style, I have to say. And another book by Sarah Bruyere. This is World of Fairies. And also really stunning pictures in here. And this book is a little bit more of a variety, I would say. Smaller pictures, actually, because you see, don't have to color the whole picture. Uh, yeah, we really should start with this one very soon. It's so beautiful, but again, the, the paper, you know. And now, um, I forgot I have another one of her. <coughs> And then I also have the Portrait of the Mermaid, also by Sarah Bouillier. And this is also a very beautiful book, a smaller book, a pocket size book, um, that I like about it. Because then those pictures won't take too much time. And yeah, I'm so slow, so yeah, really beautiful book. I can't remember who enabled me with this. But it's always YouTube 
who is enabling. <laughs> so then I have the Mermaid's Coloring Book by Christine Karen, and this is a line art version. I think she also has um, her books in grayscale version, and you also could buy her um, books uh, in on her Etsy shop and then print it on a better quality paper. This is just a normal paper. I haven't colored in this book so I can't tell you um, how good it is. Uh, but the pictures are really lovely. And this one is a Fairy's Grayscale coloring book. So um, here was Brave and I thought, okay, uh, I will try um, some of the grayscale pictures. But I don't like this, it's a really heavy grayscale, so um, I would much prefer if it was a more delicate um, grayscale, because then it would be much easier to color, but still had uh, some guide and help um, with the shading. So, but the pictures are fantastic. Then I have all three. Uh, books by um, Scott Hoden. He's um, coloring fantasy, and um, yeah, I I really like his style. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought all three of his books. And you also can um, buy his books on his Etsy shop. So then you could print it on your own printer paper, which. Sometimes it's a little bit easier than to color in, especially when you like the pictures. But when I first um, bought those um, books, I didn't know about his Etsy shop. And so I just uh, bought the books, printed already. And this is, um, I think, Amazon fulfilled. So the normal thin paper that we all know. Uh, oh, I love this one, by the way. Ooh, I really should get started with this stuff. It's so pretty. And uh, yeah, I wish I, I, I would have known earlier that uh, he has an Etsy shop and sells his uh, books there as PDF print. Because, um, yeah, it's just easier than to, to color something with layers. This is one of my favorite pictures in here. Uh, yeah, a big variety in his books, I think. So then I have both the books of uh, Meredith Dillman. And I know Meredith Dillman as an artist for quite a long time. Because um, yeah, I was always interested in in beautiful uh, pictures, and this is one of my favorites. Very beautiful, and I know her from Deviant Art. Uh, yeah, again, it's in paper, and we have a variety of foxes and um, women women in this book in a shiny style and then her second book is the fanciful fairy fashion and this one is also featured in the coloring heaven uh, magazine and I think no both of those both of her books are featured in the coloring heaven magazine and um, but I can't tell you uh, which pictures included there. But if you're interested, the Happy Colors J can tell you about that. Uh, yeah, outstanding uh, art style. I love her art, and I also have an um, a card deck by Meredith. Uh, because I love her art so much. Then I have a few books by Barbara Lanza and um, this one was the first one that I got and I bought it because of the title page 
um, yeah, I fell in love with this title page right away and I, I knew that I had to have it. Uh, and back then I hadn't seen any flip through of this. Uh, this was also one of my uh, first books that I got. And this is one of my favorite pictures that I, which will be most probably my next picture in this book. I have colored um, only one picture in here and it's this one. And yeah, I'm not very satisfied with it. One of my earlier pages, okay, it's from September last year, so not so early, but yeah, not my favorite ones. Yeah, here's the stunning title page. And um, I saw that uh, according with Alina has started to call in this book lately, and yeah. That is fantastic because I waited so long for her to start those book finally. And then I got uh, Fairies and Friends, Enchanting Fairies and Friends to Color, also by Barbara Lanza. And uh, after I got the fairy line I had to get all of her books. And yeah, the art of course still is stunning, the paper not. But, uh, I have to say that the Fairy Lane is my absolute favorite book of hers from the selection of pictures included. But yeah, of course this has also very um, sweet and cute pictures. And then she has also a mermaid's book, Sea of Enchantment by Barbara Lanza. Yeah, as I told you, I that's sweet, huh? I had to get all of her books then, also very beautiful, yeah, I have to say, I, I haven't looked through this book for quite some time, I have to say, yeah, and her art style is really stunning, really beautiful, and then the last one I got of her is um, The Fairy World, Adult Coloring Pages, this book has a better quality paper, but I have to say that it has um, the, um, the least attractive um, pictures for my taste, somehow. don't know why. I mean, it has beautiful pages, that for sure. But, um, yeah. The pictures from those other books I adore much more. But this has a better paper. Yeah. Bubble and answer. So, um, next is Queenie Wong. And um, yeah, this one is the Wedding Romance uh, by Queenie Wong, a hand drawn coloring book. And it has a lot of um, ladies uh, with beautiful um, dresses in here. This romantic pictures. Haven't started coloring in it yet. This one is really beautiful, huh? She's running from the church. <laughs> this one is also very beautiful. So, yeah. And then the uh, girls in ancient, oh my gosh, girls in ancient Asian fashion by Queenie Wong. And this one basically I have shown you already in my first haul video. This one is still my favorite picture in this book and I am uh, eager to start this picture. I have so many projects at the time. So Asian um, girls in here. I like her art style. Yeah. Okay. We continue with Tatiana. Ne, oh, so sorry, with Tanya Bugima Stolova. And this one is the nice little dragons. And this one is a, um, a pocket sized book. So really cute. And I saw this book at Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, the Haven, Kate's Coloring Haven channel. Uh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, she enabled me with those books because yeah, she showed them. I think she colored something in those books, and she showed the flip throughs. And um, yeah, those pictures are the most hilarious. And I mean, look at that cutie. Yeah, and then really, really beautiful. This one also, huh? Really beautiful stuff. Then I have this Halloween um, coloring book, also by Tanya Bugima. And yeah, this is more, yeah, a little bit too full for my taste. I think a little bit too much, I don't know, doodle, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is not my favorite book, I have to admit. Though I think maybe colored, this could look quite nice and um, yeah, maybe with some markers or watercolor base or something. Yeah. So then I have the nice little tone for this is also by Tatiana. Oh, I'm so sorry, by Tanya Bugima. And uh, yeah, this is examples of her other books. Still, still. Okay, so she has all those mushroom houses here, uh, also with those little mice that are living in those little houses here, and yeah, it's really adorable, I have to say, really sweet, cute. <clears throat> then I have the nice little town six, and this one is a lot thinner. Maybe they don't have the example pages in here. Yep. Uh, and on in this volume we have a lot more um, details. Uh, yeah, but also a few of those little, um, houses here. This one is really cute with the oh, macaroons and the cupcakes. Oh, and the pretzel. Yeah, this one is tasty, huh? Uh, yeah, really beautiful book. And then, last but not least, I also have Nice Little Dragons 2 by uh, Tanya Bugima. Also enabled by Kate, who else? <laughs> and yeah, they are uh, just too sweet, I have to say. <laughs> Look at this popcorn. He's watching like TV. And this one looks so cute. So, those are just uh, fun pictures to color. Oh, I should start this book. So, um, yeah, I think that's all for the first part of my coloring book collection, so stay tuned for the next part. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and um, yeah, see you in the next part, hopefully. Um, have a nice evening, happy coloring, and bye!